Good morning, friends. I just wanted to share something with you um, going on about what's going on over in Paris. Um, I know everybody's pretty upset. It's horrible tragedy. And um, I've been warning about things like this for a long time, just like so many other people. And I happened to, in the course of my research, trying to get the facts last night, um, I ran across this fellow's video here. As you can see on the screen, Stefan, I can't even begin to pronounce his last name, so I won't even try. But his video is entitled, What Pisses Me Off About the Paris Terrorist Attacks. I just happened to notice that he did another one a couple of months ago. 571,000 plus views. What pisses me off about the European uh, immigrant uh, or, or migrant crisis. So... Apparently, this guy's getting a lot of action on this, which is good. But, um, you know, after listening to his video, and I do agree with a lot of stuff that he said, he, he's, you know, miles off base on some other things. He seems to take a position more of a philosophical, man can do it all kind of thing. Uh, and, and so I, I, I posted a response to him, and... Uh, Abruptly, you know, my response, you know, my comment was uh, removed, which, you know, I like, what up with that? <clears throat> so, I think the response was good. I wanted to share it with you, and I'll get your feedback, and you guys let me know what you think. Okay, now understand that the majority of my audience is Christian, so this is coming from a Christian perspective. And then I also copied, fortunately, I copied uh, the comment and posted it to my Google Plus, so I still have a copy of it. Otherwise, it would have been long gone and lost. But it says here, um, shared comment, friend, though I appreciate and even agree with your passion and many of the things that you say, in my opinion, you're totally clueless as to what the root of this problem is. Here's a hint. Look up and read Daniel 2.43, King James Version, as they mingle their seed with the seed of men. So, the question is, who are they if they are not men? Think about that. That said, you come off as if man can fix all of these problems. Yet I say, we are in a supernatural battle, and without Jesus Christ, we have a snowball's chance in hell. Believe it or not, it makes no difference to me, but having lived 60 years and seen life from pretty much all angles, I have come to the conclusion that the Bible is right. Also note that Catholics are not Christians, as you appear to be making the mistake of confusing the two. Furthermore, true Christians had nothing to do with the butchering of the past, but instead were themselves victims of the false religion headed by the Vatican. I could go on and on for hours, but I doubt what I have said to this point will be accepted by most, if any at all, as I have been teaching the truth for years. Uh, or as I too have been teaching the truth for years. The problem is the differences in the source of the truth. And one is no truth at all. It's up to those that read this to decide which path they choose. If you and or anyone else chooses the path of Jesus Christ, then I can help. However, if you and or anyone else that likes to take any other path, then unfortunately I can't help. As there is only one way, one truth, and only one way to life, as is written, though paraphrased. His name is Jesus Christ. And if you think this event is something, then let me assure you that you haven't seen anything yet. For as is written, Men's hearts will indeed be failing them with fear 
as for the things coming upon the earth. Jesus said that. And I can assure you with 100% confidence and assurance that he knows exactly what he is talking about. Again, believe it or not. So much love to you, my brother. I feel your pain more than you can even imagine as being me in this day and age is like being on the Titanic and knowing full well what is coming and trying just as hard as you obviously are to wake people up. <clears throat> but they simply refuse to listen, at least, at least in large enough numbers. Thus, we will sink, no doubt about it. But in the end, those in Christ will be saved, and not by some falsely taught pre-trib rapture either. You see, Christians, like everyone else, are going to have to endure to the end, as is written. So fasten your seatbelt and get ready for a bumpy ride. Stay tuned and much love, Kev. Now, I don't know how much more polite, courteous yeah, I can be, yet... You know, the guy just removes my comment or blocks my comment without so much as a note or anything. So, anyway, I, I thought the message that I, in the reply I had was appropriate. And so I wanted to share this. And uh, hopefully you guys will help me get the word out. Because I see this over and over and over and over again. You know, people think that man can solve these problems. But scripture clearly says, you know, that Jesus is, a, is the rock. If, if we don't build everything that we build on the rock, then the house is going to fall when the storms come. Uh, it goes further, and it says that, that we labor in vain. So here we are running around all frustrated, trying to... You know, say, well, if we get this politician in, or this person's elected, or if we do this, or we do that, we're gonna, you know, it'll make a it make a difference. It's not gonna make a difference, okay? Because Jesus is the way, He's the truth, and He's the life, and everything else is gonna disintegrate unless we are in Him. It's clear as day. It's all through the Word. It's indisputable. As much as we want to try to do it on our own, we can't. It won't work. And it really goes back to you know, the book of Genesis. You'll be as gods. Okay? And that's really what the foundation of all this is about. I mean, men want to be gods. They want to make their own decisions. They don't want to, they don't want to be accountable. And um, unfortunately, the heart of man is wicked. So, unless Christ is allowed to come into us and renew our minds and give us a new way of thinking, we're doomed. And we can argue over politics and who's to blame the rest of our life. But we're going to end up in hell if we don't do it His way. So, I suggest that if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, you pick up the book, you start reading it, a King James Version, don't get some corrupted NIV version or something like that. Get a good, solid King James Version and start reading it. And uh, that's going to make all the difference. It's going to take some time. Also, you can get uh, you know, uh, MP3s you can get, and, and drive around listening to, to on your car. I mean, I have to sell them on my website. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. The point is, is, the, is it's here. The knowledge is here. But everybody's seeking it elsewhere. And everybody thinks, at least most people, think that they can do it without God. It'll never happen. I'm warning you. I'm telling you. And I told you a long time ago, we're being invaded by demonic entities. And that's what all these, you know, people are. These leaders, they're opening the door to all these people that are possessed by demonic entities, I mean, just look at them. You can see it. It's clear as day. They're raping women. I mean, look at what they did to this poor girl here. What a beautiful young lady. And they just, man, can you believe they did that? I can't believe it. 
I mean, it's just horrible. So, anyway, you know, that, that, that's my little speech today. Love you. And if there's anything in the world I can do for you, please let us know. And uh, we're out here in the Philippines doing our best to wake these Catholics up. You know, if you want to take a vacation, come out here and help us. Please, by all means, do. Because I've got some restrictions. Um, I can't, you know, make too much noise or I'll end up getting the boot. So, but I can invite a bunch of people here that'll make noise. So, if you, uh, you know, more than, you know, if you're willing to come, we'll do our very best to make you at home and, and man, you know, help us, you know, if you can. Help us any way, shape, or form. And, uh, Spread this message, please, okay? Because Google is killing me. Yeah, I'm getting my stuff buried. And uh, just like so many other truthers are right now. And, um, you know, I don't know. That's, that's another video. But help me out the best you can. I'd really, really appreciate your help, okay? So take care. Love you. And God bless you, okay? Bye-bye now.